particular question using the short technique I taught about concerning chain rule. Okay, so let's go solution. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the power form. So this is where your knowledge of indices becomes handy. Now this denominator, I can put it in this form. Okay, this is about minus one. Okay, so this is my lot indices. The next I can now differentiate. Now let's differentiate now. So our short technique for chain rule says take the power multiply the coefficient that is the number in front of the bracket so let's do that minus 1 times 10 that gives us minus 10 then I'm going to write back this term inside the bracket and then my second step is that I'm going to subtract 1 from the power okay and then my last step my step 3 is that I'm going to multiply everything by the differentiation of this term that is inside this bracket so what's inside this bracket is x squared minus 3 so let's differentiate it differentiate x squared that gives us 2x differentiate minus 3 that gives us 0 then the next thing to do is just to tidy up our work so let's go now minus 10 times 2x minus 20x and then I'm going to have x squared minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 that gives me minus 2 so since my original question is in fraction form let me put this one as well in fraction form okay and it's very easy to do all you have to do is that you see this is having a negative power Anytime you see a negative power, it simply means that the term having this negative power is a denominator. So we are going to take this x squared minus 3, put it at the denominator raised above 2. So you can see that our 2 no longer have the negative sign because we have transformed it into a fraction. So this is our solution. I hope you can get value.